What was the worst maritime disaster in Chicago? Was it the Civil War steamer, the Sultana? Was it the Titanic, the Lusitania, or the SS Eastland? Was the SS Eastland? The SS Eastland sank on July 24th, 1915. 845 lives lost, 22 entire families. Most were women and children under the age of 25. Capsize, the forgotten story of the SS Eastland disaster by Patricia Sutton, explores the causes and aftermaths of this little known disaster, often called the poor man's Titanic. Chicago was a busy hub in the early 1900s. It was a center for culture and industry, which attracted an influx of immigrants. Western Electric employed more than 14,000 workers in its Chicago factory, hiring first and second generation immigrants. Every summer, it hosted an employee picnic, the social event of the year. That year, 1915, it was to be a three hour cruise with live music, food and dancing, followed by a picnic and then a three hour evening cruise home. The official passenger count stood at 2,501 with a crew of 70 that day. She was built for speed and called the speed queen of the Great Lakes, but she never had a stability test. The day of her christening, she actually rolled to a 45 degree angle before riding herself. And after several steep rolls on the lakes, that did not end in disaster, she earned a new nickname, the Crank of the Lakes. Improvements were made shortly before the July 24th, 1915 trip. To repair rotting wood floors, they poured tons and tons of concrete on the top deck. But they did not address the problem that it was already top heavy. And as if that were not enough weight, in order to comply with the new laws instituted Following the sinking of the Titanic, they added more life rafts and more life boats. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. Between 7 and 7.05 a.m., passengers board at a rate of about 50 per minute. The count reaches over 1,000 quickly, and there's a light list to port. By 7.10 a.m., it's reached the capacity of 2,500 people. At 7.16 to 7.20 a.m., the list to port worsens to an estimated 10 to 15 degrees. 7.23, passengers instructed to move to the starboard side. 7.27, list to port grows to 30 degrees. By 7.28, the list reaches 45 degrees and the Eastland rolls into the Chicago River. Onlookers race to the piers to help. Dock workers, crew members, citizens, they all rush to help. But emergency medical responses are not what they are today. They just were not equipped for the magnitude.
And who is to blame? And would there be justice? To find out, read Cap's Eyes, The Forgotten Story of the SS Eastland Disaster by Patricia Sutton. Check it out at the Howard County Library System.